Can you sell AI generated stuff on Etsy? The answer is yes, but what are the rules? What are the details? Let's have a look. So Etsy has just announced uh, this new update to how things are listed on the platform. I've done another video about that. If you want to check that out, have a look above. I'll put the link to it up here. Basically, they're talking about they've changed the category. So now things are made by, designed by, sourced by, or uh, handpicked by the seller. So that basically covers the handmade category, the designed category, you know, so they've actually separated that out now. What was just all glommed into handmade is now stuff that's handmade and stuff that you've designed it, but you've got a production partner to make it. So it's now different. Um, you have also got the handpicked, which is like vintage stuff, plants, things like that. And the source by category, which is, you know, party supplies and uh, materials, craft materials. So let's have a look at the AI rules here that they have shared with us. Okay, so here's their update as of 9th of July, which is technically yesterday for me because I'm in the future here in Australia, but is today as I'm recording this for you in the US. Um, so blah, blah, blah. When artists use these AI tools, they still make creative decisions and contributions to guide the AI and carefully curate the output. Uh, I have some students in the Thriver Circle who use AI as part of their digital download creation. Most, uh, one I'm thinking of in particular, she doesn't just like make something on AI and chuck it up. She makes something on AI and then edits it in some ways to like make it more her own. But let's have a look at what Etsy has to say on this. Um, we've decided to continue to allow sellers to use their original prompts in combination with AI tools to create the artwork they sell on Etsy. Permitted examples of this might include a fantasy scene based on a seller's original prompt of inputs and produced by an AI generator or a custom portrait of a buyer's pet generated using AI tools. Sellers must disclose within their listing if items are created with the use of AI. Okay, so you must declare it. If you don't declare it, you can get shut down. So don't break the rules. Just a mild rant on this issue. So many people say, I got shut down, my listing got taken down, but you didn't follow the rules. Some people, yes, they shut you down when they shouldn't. Absolutely, you should appeal and hopefully they will fix it. But I see too many people who don't follow the rules because they just get all excited about selling AI art or you know selling print on demand on Etsy and they don't actually investigate the details of what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do and then they get shut down and get upset about it all right there are very specific rules around this stuff if you want to sell on Etsy you need to follow their rules not somebody else's rules or some arbitrary ideas that you have in your head okay this is the best way you can avoid getting flagged by the system is to do all these things that they tell you to do like closing if you use AI all right we believe this decision aligns with the values of supporting artists but we also understand their important ongoing conversations regarding the training of AI models including ethical questions about the use of copyrighted works and concerns about mitigating bias and negative environmental impact as such we'll be closely monitoring blah 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 okay so basically they can't avoid this because it's everywhere now so they've just come up with a policy and gone yep we're gonna allow it for now but we reserve the right to change our mind in the future if the winds of um, a seller or buyer opinion swing the wrong way and people get upset about AI being allowed or public perception or public um, thought or laws on the matter uh, come along that change things. So that's basically where we're at right now is they're allowing it with caveats. Okay. And then they've got final details here. Okay. So you can't do... Um, a sale of prompt bundles okay <laughs> we believe that the prompts used to generate AI artwork are an integral part of the creative process and should not be sold separately from the final artwork um, frankly I didn't even think of this as a thing that people would try to sell but of course they do so that is something you need to avoid and of course a final very important thing here about nudity and sexual content they must follow the rules and restrictions already outlined in the prohibited items policy. Um, we prohibit content that infringes the rights of the privacy, publicity and personal rights of others. So don't generate AI stuff featuring real people. You know, that's probably not a great idea. Uh, you might get in trouble for it. Don't generate AI art using IP from like Disney slash Marvel slash whoever the heck owns all those companies now. Okay. Just 
don't do it avoid it <laughs> because you will get into trouble for that sort of thing all right so if you want more on this go ahead check out their prohibited items policy there is a lot of prohibited items okay there's a lot of things you cannot sell not just they're like don't fit in the categories but they're like yes they technically fit in the categories but you're not allowed to sell them here so make sure to go check that out look frankly here's the quick list okay this is the basic stuff that is not allowed on the platform so do not use ai to generate images that do any of these things or talk about or depict any of these things because you'll get shut down and nobody wants that okay so that is the nitty-gritty of it yes you're allowed to use ai as long as you disclose it in your listing so it's very clear to your buyers that you have used ai to make your products if you want more on that other video where i break down this whole new thing about the four types of stuff you're allowed to sell again it's up here make sure to give me a like if you enjoyed this one and ask any questions or make any comments below about this whole ai on etsy thing i know this is going to be <laughs> a contentious issue i know a lot of you uh hate ai and think it's awful and that it's basically robbing humans and artists of their ip and some of you think it's great and wonderful and means we can expand our creativity and allows people who uh, don't have particular 2D drawing skills like myself um, to actually bring ideas to life. Is that something we should be selling on Etsy? Time will tell, but for now it's allowed. So if you see it and somebody's disclosed it, it's allowed on the platform. If you want to check out any of my other videos on Etsy, I have a lot of them. You can do that right here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.